Good morning, boys and girls. My name is Miss Ani, and I'm from the Kodiak Public Library. But I'm not at the library today. I'm at home. I have some of my favorite animals with me today. And today, I thought, since we're doing story time, I would dress up in a hat. You like my hat? It's a cowgirl hat. Um, and I thought maybe we would read stories about hats because it's so much fun to dress up in hats, don't you think? You could have a fireman's hat and pretend to put out fires. You could have a policeman hat and pretend to arrest robbers and cr stop crime. What other kind of hats could you have? Obviously a cowgirl hat. I could go roping and ride my horse. I thought of all of the guests that I could have for a hat book reading story time, I would invite Cat in the Hat. So I was feeling a little bit lonely and I thought Cat in the Hat would like to help me today. So say hi Cat in the Hat. Hi boys and girls. <laughs> okay, the first book that we're going to read today is called A Hat for Minerva Louise. What do you think this story is going to be about? I see Minerva Louise. What kind of animal does she look like? Buck, 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 buck. Chicken? <laughs> I see a hat. Here we go. A Hat for Minerva Louise by Janet Morgan Stoke. What's Minerva Louise looking at? All the snow. Minerva Louise loved snowy mornings. It looks like she's smiling. Her friends didn't like them one bit. Mm, they look pretty grumpy. They stayed inside all day with their heads tucked under their wings. Not Minerva Louise. She couldn't wait to go out exploring. Everything was so beautiful. I'd love to be there. It looks so peaceful. I like to play in the snow. She wanted to stay out all day, but it was too cold. If I had some warm things like you, she said to the scarecrow. I could stay out and play. What kind of warm things does the scarecrow have on? Maybe a scarf? Mm -hmm. A scarf might help, said Minerva Louise, and she's walking into the shed. But not this one. It is way too big. Silly Minerva Louise, is that even a scarf? I think it looks like a watering hose. <laughs> and these shoes are way too big. <gasps> Minerva Louise, what do you have on your feet? Those don't look like shoes that I know. Are they actually gloves? A hat. That's just what I need. Hmm. But not this one. That looks like a flower pot stuck on her head. And not this one either. It's way too heavy. <laughs> there must be a hat around here somewhere. There's Minerva Louise. Do you see any hats around her? I see a few. Should we count them? One, two, three, four. Four hats. But does Minerva Louise see the hats? I don't think she's looking up. Minerva Louise looked outside. Everyone had a fluffy white hat. <gasps> the trash can has a fluffy white hat. The light does too, and the car, and the silo. 
Everyone has a fluffy white hat of snow. Oh, your hat is wonderful. Where did you get it? Hmm. That's a pretty cute little hat with little pom-poms. Oh, look over here, says Minerva Louise. What did she find? A hat! It's perfect! Oh, great, Minerva Louise. Oh, but wait. It's two hats. And it looks like they're tied together. Funny Minerva Louise. I'm not sure that that's a hat. Do you think maybe you put your thumb in here and your other fingers in here? Looks like a mitten to me. Which was just fine with Minerva Louise. She looks toasty warm in her new hat. And she found a place for the other hat on her tail feathers. <laughs> Smart chicken. And there she is, cozy as can be, with her friend the lamb. A hat for Minerva Louise. Did you like that book? I feel like changing hats now. Let's see. I have a hat like Minerva Louise's, like the one she liked on the snowman. It's a little bit funny. I like it. It's got pom-poms. It's got lots of pretty colors. Do you like it? <laughs> I have another hat. I think I'm going to wear this one. Can you see my whole hat? Oh, it's wild. It's really different. And the next story that we're going to read has a really different kind of a hat, too. It's called A Boy and His Bunny. It's by Sean Bryan, and the pictures are by Tom Murphy. A Boy and His Bunny. One day, a boy woke up with a bunny on his head. Did you wake up with any bunnies on your head this morning? His name, oh, he named him Fred, that bunny on his head. <laughs> Cute little Fred. Good morning, said Fred, the bunny on his head. And the boy got out of bed with you-know-who on his head. His mother cooked breakfast, made sure he was fed. <gasps> What's he having for breakfast? Ooh, it looks like pancakes. Mmm, yummy. The boy ate quite a bit, but he saved some for Fred. <gasps> That's really sweet. There's Mama. Mother looked puzzled as she brought him some bread. You know, I hate to tell you, but it's got to be said. You have a great big bunny on your head. And what's wrong with that? Asked the big bunny Fred. You can do anything with a bunny on your head. Books can be read with a bunny on your head. Peanut butter can be spread with a bunny on your head. Wee oui, wee. Oui. French can be said with a bunny on your head. Even armies can be led with a bunny on your head. And not only that, the boy said to Fred, you could ride a bobsled with a bunny on your head. You could build a tool shed with a bunny on your head. You could drive a moped with a bunny on your head. Or explore the seabed with a bunny on your head. 
They both have snorkel masks. And what do you see down on the seabed? I see some plants and some coral. Do you see any fish? Point to the fish. You're right. There they are. Let's count them. One, two, three, four. Four little fish. Wow, said the boy's mother. I take back what I said. You look pretty cool with that bunny on your head. But what would she think a few minutes later when his sister walked in with a small alligator? Oh my gosh, she has an alligator on her head. That's a pretty funny hat. That's the end of our book. A boy and his bunny. Guess what? I love bunnies. I love them so much. I love all animals. I've got something special for you. Watch. This is Pumpkin, a girl with a bunny. It's me. And Pumpkin, hi Pumpkin, say hi. Hi. Wave. Oh, hello. <laughs> Pumpkin uh, came to me in October, so I named her Pumpkin. She was just a little baby, and she could fit in the palm of my hand. And she's just my good little buddy, my bunny. I wonder if she wants to be on my head. Pumpkin, would you like to be on my head? Just like the story? This might be a disaster. There's the bunny on my head. Oh, my gosh. I don't think she liked that. I won't do that to her if she doesn't like it. Anyways, I'm glad I could share those stories with you. I have one more. And this is really funny, actually. This is a hat. It has a tail. Pretty weird. Oh, I don't think you can see the tail. Here, let's turn it around like that. So instead of having a bunny on my head, I guess I have a raccoon. Here's a poem for you, a little rhyme. My Hat by Tony Mitten. Here's my hat, it holds my head. The thoughts I've had, the things I've said. It keeps out the wind, it keeps off the rain. It hugs my hair and it warms my brain. There's me below it and the sky above it. It's my lid and I love it. So. That was our story time for hats, funny crazy hats, and thank you so much for joining me today. I hope you had fun. Bye-bye.